What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we will be running Urshifu. We're going to be running his dark form. Um, since last time when you saw me play our very first video of the channel, um, I was on water form, water base. Uh, here we are going to continue on with the second half, the completed Yang of the Yang. So now, um, these are the held items I'm still rocking with. I'm rocking with Muscle Band, Rapid Fire, Scarf, and Drain Crown in case, in case you didn't get to watch the first video. Um, and then we did update our emblems a little bit. I feel personally, I feel a lot more comfortable utilizing this, um, this build um, for the emblems. I feel like I'm a lot more capable, a lot more um, capable of not being CC'd to death. Because CC lock is a real thing, guys. And if you don't hate it by now, trust me, the, the higher the ranking that you get, the higher uh, the chances are that you're going to come across it and you're going to rage quit. <laughs> but now, this is what I'm running. So I'm running a plus 1% attack. I'm running uh, the very first non minus 4% hindrance. Hinders, if you don't know, this is basically like how long it takes for you to... Um, to get out of like CCs and stuff like that, uh, and extra effects. Uh, then you, I'm rocking a unique move gauge, time to full charge. So you already know what a unite move is. That's basically the ultimate. So this can come in clutch. I, I, it's just a necessity, you know. I'm actually at a point where I want to put it at two percent, but I don't have the required emblems to be able to um, comfortably, you know, set it to five of those um, to at least two percent. Um, and then we have the plus 2% defense, so a little bit more tankier. We do have a plus 1 HP boost, and obviously that would go a long way, especially because of lifesteal, so that makes me a little bit more soaked, like I can actually soak up a little bit more. We do have a plus 2% speed, uh, special defense, and as y'all already know, there's a lot of Pokemon in this game that uh, love to be range, and also... They're just special attack builds, and it's a pain. <clears throat> Have you ever been kited by a Pikachu? If you haven't, well, go ahead and experience that for the first time, and I guarantee you're going to hate it with a passion. So, yeah, guys, we're going to be running the... Ooh, we got to save a lot. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. <clears throat> I can't wait until I unlock Sableye. I want to make a build for him. I want to actually experience him full-fledged and, you know, make a breakdown of him. But yeah, guys, um, hopefully y'all do, uh, y'all do be watching our videos on YouTube. Um, hopefully they are up to your standards. Um, that is one of the biggest things that I, like, really, really enjoy is making sure that it caters to all sources of audience. Not only that, I want to make sure that y'all understand that I'm just an average player. An average player that really just wants to showcase how how not being brain dead makes a big difference in any Pokemon Unite match. This video may come out before the Cinderace video, the updated version. Or it may come out, um, might come out after. It just really depends on how things go. Hopefully y'all do enjoy those um, the videos though. Uh, Urshifu this time around it's definitely gonna dominate I'm glad that I'm going dark form because with dark form I should be able to dish out a lot of damage I like I like dark form against buzzwell because I feel like I need that excessive damage and then Dragonite oh my god he's gonna be he's gonna be definitely a pain in the butt with all the stunning um, but yeah that's what we bring full heal for the sake of that so here, hopefully we can level up ASAP. I feel like Decidueye is going to take the spotlight here though. Decidueye is really good against uh, what we're going up against because, you know, there's a range Pokemon and if you don't know. Oh man, that's hard. I didn't have my teammate to contest that. That's unfortunate. I don't think we're going to be able to get this. I think they already got it, actually. Oh, no. It just spawned. 
I'm just wasting time here. Dang. We're just out of precision. Like, we, we're not where we need to. <clears throat> there you go. Get this ball toy. gonna be hard to carry hopefully this uh yeah no we're probably not gonna it's gonna be tough i'm glad that we have a decidui on our lane because they're gonna be a pain to deal with yeah and i won't be able to poke them i gotta actually commit i was hoping that Oh my god, and then we have a dragon air to go up against. Okay. Uh, I don't like buzz wolves. <sighs> Did they really just take our goal? Dang. That's not good at all. That's really super early for us to break our. Um, Defenses. I gotta level up and I gotta actually be in team fights. And if I don't get in any team fights in the next like two minutes and make a difference and flip the t a script, we're gonna lose this. Which is very unfortunate. Yeah, this is GG most likely. our team can like do something but like I mentioned it's gonna be very difficult because they have range on us um, water form would have been ideal for the movement and to be able to avoid some of that damage but we just wouldn't have the damage output that's the only con side at least against uh, buzzwall because I really feel like buzzwall would be uh, a counter to us This is where <sighs> we start snowballing. I just gotta make sure my health is up and then by next yep, there you go. Exactly what I needed. Let me go back and reset to get my full health back. And then I gotta make it back into before that team fight transpires, they just got picked off, and I don't know what Mammoth Swine is doing there. Okay, uh, he got that. Okay, he got out for free. I could have probably picked that off. Curly needs to evolve already. He needs to be uh, final form. You can do it! We both used our ultimates on me. That's so unfortunate. I probably would have killed uh, SP on there. Oh, at least our, our ultimate didn't uh, go on cooldown. said um, I really feel like this is a hard counter to this troll. At least uh, the water one isn't though. Let's 
go back. Uh, actually, we don't. Not anymore. Let's rotate down. Yeah, Archie 2 is just so busted. Especially this form. This form just great for securing. Great for your tanks. I just like this uh this character. This character really made a big difference in the game. And then also on top of that, uh it. Huge, huge, huge. That was a play. Um, yeah, after I, I uh, reinvested some time and thought into the uh, emblems, it really made a big difference. Like, I don't get one shot anymore. Um, I don't get CC'd, per se. Yeah, I still take a lot of damage, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like this is exactly how uh, this character was intended to be played. Oh man, that's tough. We need to get a pick. Ideally, we can... Oh, so, so out of range. Sweet. So we got two there. Uh, this Espeon though. Ooh, did we get it? Yes! Good stuff, Absol! Heck yes! That was huge! So he prevented the points to be scored, and also we're gonna kill Absol. I mean, uh, Buswo. Yup. Good. <clears throat> we're on point with our rotations. Team came to help. And now. We just gotta really get this Equaza. The only thing is. We gotta make sure that we don't lose this. That's how you win a game with Urshifu. Uh, dark mode. Uh, the comeback. The comeback was real, guys. Uh, you gotta love it. You gotta love the comeback. So in terms of like who's better, it's really case by case. <clears throat> I personally feel like the water form, if if it's if it's a perfect water form, and by perfect I mean the person has their uh, their mechanics down and know how to play the Pokemon in both case scenarios, I really think that it's a. I think it's like a. Hmm, like a. 55 to 45 percent chance of water form to beating dark form. <clears throat> Almost 2k damage over my ability. Five, <clears throat> it just four, really depends. Three, two, because all one. the knockups in the CC rate really make Time's a big difference. Up. But yeah, guys, <clears throat> that's Urshifu dark form. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Let's look at the stats and and just uh, look at it and admire. You oh wow! Yep, as anticipated, we definitely came back. <clears throat> we came back and we took that dub. <clears throat> so not as much as uh, water form, but as you can see, late game. He's very crucial. He counters. I feel like he counters Buswo by a lot. Dragonite could have been a little bit better, a little bit more stronger, uh, but he wasn't really all that good. It's hard to it's hard to play Dragonite nowadays because there's so many counters to him. 
Um, Espeon was uh, goodish. Uh, I feel like Espeon had more presence than the Pikachu, at least as far as like <clears throat> every interaction that I had with Espeon, it, it, it either just got out of range and I couldn't kill it, but the Pikachu definitely got shut down um, with two hits of mine. So that's always enjoyable. As you can see, I didn't really, uh, in terms of stats, I really didn't do so much. Um, but it does make a big, um, it plays, I still played a big role as far as turning the tables because I was able to lock down bot lane um, shortly after losing uh, early game. Mid game, that's when I was kind of peaking and doing relatively good. Um, and then that's when it snowballed into late game. And then late game, uh, as you saw, uh, Decidueye actually started doing relatively well. So uh, congratulations to the Decidueye. I feel like you deserved a good job. Um, Absol, you did good for covering that Espeon whenever it tried going to score points. Good job on that. And then SP, um, Decidueye did good on rotating and helping and assisting that takedown on Espeon and preventing all the points. And then obviously our Mammal Swine friend here. Uh, glad that he rotated too. He's been a great help. I mean, tanks, tanks tend to be very, very good at the game. Gardevoir, I didn't really see too much, but uh, too much gameplay on on their behalf. But hey, um, I'm gonna give him a good job because, uh, as you can see, the look at the damage output. It's greater than mine. Shoot, <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, this is this has been a. A showcase of a dark form Urshifu and I really greatly appreciate y'all for being here um, are you gonna be the MVP for er, um, for dark form not necessarily it just depends on how much you snowball but it can really um, illustrate the end of the game and really can flip the tables on everybody so there you have it guys my updated Urshifu build um, really came into play here uh, hopefully y'all enjoy the video and hopefully y'all stay tuned for the next videos Hopefully y'all enjoy this the uh, new Cinderace updated version of it And then on top of that, I hope that y'all really enjoy uh, Executed Zero's new video um, It must have came out either yesterday or two days before um, The release of this video Hopefully y'all stay tuned and hopefully y'all follow me on, on Twitter, Instagram, um, Twitch Whichever one you like, whichever one you caters to your consumption of social media and i would really greatly appreciate for y'all dropping a like and also turning on that notification bell that way y'all can go ahead and stay tuned for any new updates and any new gameplay um, on our behalf and if there's any breakdowns y'all want me to do go ahead and let me know in the in the comment section thank you guys love y'all peace